How you doing, sir? That doesn't really make sense. We're, we're all Christians. Well, it's the number one cause of death in Texas, right? And this pastor here and you, you have a good moral opinion, right? You have a good moral opinion, but what do we do to help make it illegal? Nothing. Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. You need to ask your parents why we do nothing to help make it illegal. We should not be killing babies. It should not be legal to kill babies. This pastor here has a good moral opinion that you should not kill babies, but he does nothing to make it illegal. Children, this is the number one cause of death in Texas. It is legal to murder children in Texas. As long as they're not born yet, you can murder them. That is wrong. We should make it illegal. We need to stand up for the rights of children. Don't be like your parents who ignore child sacrifice. Your pastor, though he has a good moral opinion, does nothing to help make abortion illegal in Texas. Abortion is the number one cause of death in Texas. And though your pastor has a good moral opinion, he does nothing to help make it illegal. In fact, when a bill comes up to make abortion illegal in Texas, he does nothing to support it. He doesn't even tell the pew warmers. We need to make abortion illegal. We need to stop regulating when, where, and how we murder children. Godly men, read Isaiah 1. That's how God feels about a nation, the religious leaders who ignore child sacrifice in the land. This is the number one cause of death in Texas. Yes, Children need to ask their parents why their parents do nothing to help make it illegal. This pastor here has a good moral opinion, but he does nothing to help make it illegal in the land. Read Isaiah chapter 1. That's, this is how God feels about His people who live in a land where child sacrifice is going on. Just Isaiah 1 or Jeremiah 7 or Amos 5. God says He hates your songs. He says He hates your prayers. He will not hear them. First bring justice to the land and then I will hear your prayers.